Okay, hello, welcome back. We just had a DC on the stream, but I think we're good to go. Luckily, it didn't happen in the middle of the dungeon. It happened just as we were about to go in, but we are diving in again to the Dead Mines Pet Battle Dungeon. We're going to run through it. Take me into the Dead Mines. Let's go. Let's do it. So you get this quest from uh, your pet uh, trainer. I think you can get them in Dalaran, Legion Dalaran, or you can get it in... Uh, I think, I'm not sure if you can get this one in Boralus. I think you can get Nomergon and Strathholm in Boralus. Um, we're gonna run through this one and we're gonna do this. This is not the challenge mode. This is just your first run through, which is much, much easier. But we're gonna play it as if it is the challenge mode to kind of condense those two things into the one video. So the first thing we're gonna have to fight is the Faux Reaper 50. And to fight the Faux Reaper 50, we can apparently solo him with the Pandaren Water Spirit. So we're gonna give that a go. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not sure what exactly what his abilities are. So we have a Geyser. After three rounds, it erupts and makes him take damage. Let's go with a Geyser. That sounds good to me. This guy's going to hit harder next. Uh, he's going to hit for 125% damage next turn. We're going to dive, which makes us uh, submerge, become unattackable. He's going to hit our back line. That's just rude. We're going to come up with the dive. He's going to take a swing at us. It's not going to do too much. And we'll hit him with a water jet for some damage. Our Geyser should hit him soon and do a big chunk of damage. Okay, the Geyser, it did okay. He's stunned for one round, which is nice. We just beat on him. He's resilient. Oh, okay, very cool. He's going to keep beating on this guy. So actually, interestingly enough, uh, he's going to hit us really hard this round. No way to dive. Actually, it wasn't too bad, but it is hitting our back line. So perhaps it might be a good idea uh, to um, not have backline pets or like backline pets you're going to use you might want to put some junky pets in the backline because this guy does start beating on them which is not good the geyser should hit now and finish this guy off and there we go oh but he does come back to life once i think you want to save our dive okay you want to save our dive for this attack i think is be the better way to go he does oh sorry he gets stunned. never mind he gets stunned by the geyser which actually interrupted and stopped him using that charged up attack so we're actually totally fine and there we go, Faux Reaper goes down, actually soloed very, very easily by that uh, Pandaren. That was pretty amazing. Alright, no problem at all. Now we've got to take out these guys. Okay, one second here. The unfortunate Defias. It's recommending a rabbit. So time to bust out the rabbit. Uh, the Arctic Hare is going to be our rabbit of choice. We're going to slap him in. And I guess we'll keep these guys as backup. Should hopefully be okay. I guess we'll see. So let's fight this unfortunate Defias. Very unfortunate. He's turned into a skull. That's bad news for him, isn't it? Very bad news. We have our sort of dragon as a random sort of filler. What it's recommending is that we use dodge first. Intriguing. So we're going to dodge. Makes us guaranteed to dodge an attack. He's going to miss with whatever it was that he did there, which is apparently bad news. Then we're going to hit him with the stampede attack, which does a bit of damage each turn. And uh, makes him take double damage from all subsequent turns. And we're just going to wear him down like this, I suppose. Okay, and then we're going to hit him with some scratches. That does a ton of damage. Amazing. And he will come back immortal. So we're going to dodge. He should die then at that point. He's actually stunned at this point. And down he goes. Excellent. Easy peasy team. Nice to have to deal with this crab and deal with this guy here. So I might as well keep going with the rabbit. I don't think we need the rabbit again, this dungeon. Actually, I'm lying. I'm not sure. Okay. This geyser is going to kill my rabbit. It's going to be bad news. But at least we're beating up the crab a bunch. Actually didn't die. What do you know? And we're immune to the stun, root, and sleep effect that the Geyser is going to apply. I might as well hit him with another flurry here. I can't believe we didn't die. What is this? Amazing. Only hit him one time, though. Bummer. We will go first. You know, we might as well dodge. Ah, he has the surge attack, which means that he goes first automatically. That is a little bit of a bummer, but not the end of the world. We'll send out our 
uh, Emerald Proto Wealth. And yeah, I guess we're hoping that we don't need that rabbit. Now, obviously, if we did need the rabbit, we could just switch to this guy earlier and it wouldn't be so bad. We'd be fine. This guy here will, of course, hit pretty hard, but we're not too worried about it. Going to breathe on him. Down he goes. Very nice. Breathe just as damage straight up. It's nothing too exciting. We got we have our Dragonkin bonus. We're going to do 50% bonus damage here, so we might as well use that for some nice big damage. And in fact, we're going to use it again because we will one-shot this guy. So we're not going to drop our heal here. Ah, unfortunate. In that case, we will drop our heal. The Emerald Dream puts us asleep. Heals a small bit the first round, moderate bit the second round, and then a massive chunk the third round. This should bring us back to full health. Um, he can beat on us all he wants. It doesn't really matter at all. There we go. Full health. And then we'll kill him with two breaths here. One breath. And then we have our Dragonkin bonus, but it doesn't really matter. The second breath will kill him, and we're just fine. Okay, cool. And now, next up, we have to fight this Geode, the Angry Geode. And what it suggests, what they're suggesting, is that we use our Emerald Strider for this. We'll keep the Whelp as our backup, and then I guess we do want another backup. I guess I'll put in the Crab as another backup here. And I think that hopefully will be fine. This hopefully will be fine. Hmm. Recommending any frog, moth, or rabbit can make a great backup pet here. Now, I don't particularly have those. We're going to make do without. Or the Anubisath Idol, which I do have, but he's not leveled up, which is unfortunate. So this is the Angry Geode. And it's recommending, very simply, that we just spam Pump, which is hilarious. So Pump increases our damage by 10%. This guy is going to reduce damage per hit. So we're going to hit him with Pump. Bam. Big chunk of damage. I think two more of those will kill him. We are stunned, which is unfortunate. It's not the end of the world. Oh, I think I have to pass this round. We could switch out our pet, but I don't think there's any need. Uh, we'll pump it up. Why not? He's going to hit me. I'm going to use my healing wave at this point to stop myself back up a little bit. Why not? The pump does persist. It's not no problem. We can hit him with the pump once again. Beautiful. Nice chunk of damage. Going to pump ourselves up. He's protected himself. Hit him with the pump again, and he should fall over dead. Excellent. Okay, that's a very nice and very simple way to take him down. No problem at all. Spamming the pumps. So again, it was recommending that uh, the recommended thing to beat him was using a Rapana Whelk or any sort of snail. But I think that, what we did there, worked out actually just fine. Uh, and I think we just want to keep spamming pump. I think pump's just better than water jet. It just takes two rounds to use, but that's no problem. Oh. I I see the problem with pump here. <laughs> I see the problem with pump. Oof, and this guy's actually kind of wrecking us. Uh, our whelp guy should be able to take him out, but let's heal. I don't like that he is the speed boost. I do not like that at all. That hurts a bunch. Might as well pump it up. But I think we may die. If he flies up, we go and die. He didn't fly up. He did kill my guy before we could get the pump off, though. That is a bummer. We're not going to send out the Emperor Crab. These guys are flying. This is actually kind of bad news. Luckily that we do resist uh, the flying as a Pro Drake Whelp. Luckily he flew up in the air. That's actually good news for me because I was uh, just popping my shield just fine. Really does no damage whatsoever. We just sort of kill this guy with the breathes, with the breaths. Slowly wear him down. I guess it's just breath, actually, not breathe. Okay. Now we just keep breathing on this guy. Ah, oh, flew up in the air. A little unlucky. Now let's breathe on him again. I think one more breathe should do the trick. Actually, let's go breathe again. Yeah, you actually killed him. Cool. I thought it might with the Dragonkin bonus, which is why I went for it. And uh, there we go. We have powered through stage two onto stage three. We have to fight the mining monkey here. And there he is. So for this one, we're going to use Lil Bling. Uh, it's going to be our pet of choice, and he should work out pretty well. Uh, it's recommending I I'm going to stick another mechanical pet in just for safety. I don't know if it's needed, but... 
I guess there's no reason not to have another one. I'm going to save uh, Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling for a little bit later on. Don't want to waste him. Uh, Cogblade Raptor, the weaponized mechanical companion. Little Bling is what we're using. It's actually recommending smack that, that uh, extra plating and make it rain. All right, cool. Uh, probably solo him. Uh, we'll stick in, uh, what's it good? We'll stick in our Ultra Tonk, I suppose, as uh, another backup option here. Should be, hopefully, A-OK. -okay. Or Iron Starlet's actually pretty fast. Right, I think Ultra Tonk is slow, is he? It's very, very slow. Iron Starlet is also actually quite slow. They're all quite slow. This guy's actually quick. I want to make sure that he survives for later. We should be fine. All right, so little bling going up against this guy. Um, I think we probably want to apply our uh, extra plating first. Reduces the damage we take by half. Chance to critically strike increased by 100%. Well, good thing we've got this extra plating then. We're going to make it rain, which uh, does mechanical damage and continues doing a small bit of damage every turn. He's going to throw bananas. So he's throwing... I'm throwing coins at him. He's throwing bananas at me. Truly romantic. Gonna go with smack that dot exe. We do mechanical damage and additional mechanical damage if we attack first. And looks like with Lil Bling that we do indeed attack first every single time, which is nice. Now he's gonna do bonus damage below half health, which is maybe a little bit bad. I'm really throwing lots of bananas at us. It's very rude, very unfortunate. We're gonna smack that exe once again though, which will hopefully uh won't quite kill him, but the make it rain will. Banana doing quite a bit of damage there. I think we can just kill him with the smack that. Probably the best thing to do. There we go. There he goes. Excellent. Maybe make it rain actually would have killed him and also kept the make it rain going. That probably would have been a better option. Um, yeah, let's swap in our proto proto wealth and use him to take out these these critters that are here. Not critters, but you know the sort of gray common quality backline dudes uh so you've taken quite a bit of damage here i think we will actually use this now we're gonna breathe once actually living a little dangerously uh hilariously our emerald presence even with the shattered defenses debuff totally protected us from that damage that is very funny i feel bad for the rats we're gonna use this opportunity to heal up fully with our proto whelp um and then i think two two breaths to kill him should be just fine Oh, he's doing a little bit of damage there. He did 23. The big 23. Could reapply our buff. I think we'll just double wrath and kill. So we'll take one unprotected hit. But just like sex, if it's unprotected once, it's just fine. That's actually not true. <laughs> it's actually not true at all. I remember reading a thing by, like, an economist who was talking about how, um... When it comes to, like, unprotected sex, it's like, uh... Having sex more frequently is actually safer in terms of avoiding pregnancy because if people are intending to regularly have sex as one does with one's regular partner then one is much more likely to um to take preventative measures whereas if it's just a one-off thing right it's just like this never happens but hey this one time it is gonna happen you're more likely to be like ah oh, what the hell it's only once what could it matter so you're actually much more likely to to do it which is hilarious to do it unprotected, that is, sorry. Uh, which I think is very, very funny. Anyway, all right, Mining Monkey is down. Oh, I actually got a thing. Flawless Beast Battlestone. Oh, he's gonna fire that, nice. Instantly upgrades a beast battle pet to rare quality. Wonderful. Wonderful, okay. We do have to make our way through this without getting knocked off. <laughs> I am actually slightly nervous I will get knocked off. Oh, oh, nah, dodged it. Look at this, next level. And then we have to fight this dude, the mining, monk, mining, uh, mining Captain Klutz. Mining, mining Captain Klutz. Okay, we're going to want our unborn Valkyr in for this. Not the sunborn Valkyr, the unborn Valkyr. Uh, and then we're going to want Icky as our second pet of choice. We're going to put him in the second slot. Uh, I think that we're actually pretty happy the Emerald Proto Whelp is our backup. I think he should be just fine, actually. Um, so let's go. You can also use, 
Interesting. Okay, so here's our strategy. This is weird. Okay, get this, guys. So, apparently we pass the first turn. Pass the first turn. So we're going to get stunned. I see. So we have to actually pass. That's fine. Then we're going to Curse of Doom. We're immune to stuns now. He is humanoid. He takes more damage from undead abilities. So we're going to do quite a lot. Then we're going to haunt him. Which again just sacrifices the rest of our life. To uh, give him a four turn dot. Which is nice. And we get to switch for free. Going to bring out Icky. And do our standard enough combination here. We're going to Black Claw. Make him take extra damage per attack. Which is going to enhance the damage of each haunt. Going to enhance the damage of the Curse of Doom. Then we're going to Flock. Where we do a bunch of mini hits. Which again are enhanced here. It applies to an ability. And this stuff all stacks all together. He's going to take an absolutely monstrous chunk of damage in this particular turn. Bam, bam, bam. In fact, he's literally just going to die. We didn't even need the Curse of Doom. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, he's super dead. That's that's great. Nice. Okay. Ah, I, we actually have some trash stuff here we have to do. It didn't say that. Oh, no, it does. Okay. So we have to fight the Battle Rat. Use the same strategy as you did for the previous boss. Wonderful. What happens if we... For science, what happens if I try to System Shock? Wait, he didn't stun me, huh? Setup rocket's ready to launch. This might just kill me, right? Ho <laughs> ho! Okay, well, apparently this thing can stun you. It just didn't do that. So I'm not entirely sure. Bit weird, but anyway. It does recommend passing the first turn. We got an extra attack off, which I think is fine. Then we switch to Icky and just do our standard stuff. Here of the Black Claw into Flock Attack. And he'll, he'll just die, actually. So Curse of Doom doesn't even do anything. So, I don't know. That seems like kind of overkill. I feel like you could probably do whatever you wanted and get away with that just fine. So Flock going to do a big chunk of damage here, which is very nice. Um, guess we'll hit him with the Black Claw again. Icky is definitely going to die here. Hopefully we don't need Icky again. I don't think we do. Going to hit him with Flock again. We will just about get it off. I just want to reapply the damage bonus. And actually... There we go. I was going to say it normally hits multiple times. And it does take out the crab. Uh, Icky does die. Tragically. We'll put out our proto well. Crit da critter damage every turn. That's fine. Going to just put up our armor here. A little ouch, but not too bad. We'll breathe on him once. Oh, he hits me for 8 damage each time. Oh, okay. Uh, that was a crit. In that case, we might as well just kill him. Uh, unfortunately, that missed. Well. Alright, in that case, we're just going to rest up and heal. Okay, that's fine. See, so, yeah, I'm not sure if I entirely, entirely agree with that particular strategy. That seems a little bit off. But... What have you. I think we will pop this just... Actually, I think it was a waste. I think two breaths would have killed him. So, I'm actually going to end up taking more damage. That was silly. Actually, maybe we won't take more damage. But I think we should have just used two breaths to kill this guy. Because, yep, he's going to fly up. Whereas we would have... Actually, no, we would have dodged it. So, actually, this is this worked out great. This was the best strategy. Who knew? Okay, we've got to fight a monkey after this. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we want to have the Runeforge Servitor, which I do not have, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to swap him out for our Iron Starlet coming in again. Very nice. Dark Moon Tonk is really good as well. That's totally fine. Um, okay, and then I'm not sure what we're going to do. The next fight, we don't have the proper, uh, the proper things. I guess we'll just make do, huh? I don't know. I guess we'll just we'll just make do without. Okay.
All right, so this guy, we're gonna do the standard combo with the Starlet, which is wind up. Um, we should probably just one shot this guy. <laughs> then we're gonna supercharge. A bomb. Okay, and then we're gonna hit him with a wind up. It's gonna hit me pretty hard there, but bad news for him. <laughs> oh, cause the Starlet just took you down, boy. All right, we're not gonna need the Starlet for anything else, so I guess we can. Uh, I guess we can wind up once. I don't know. And then we can powerball. Cool. We are gonna go down once. Uh, We're gonna be one damage. That's so bad, dude. We're gonna be one damage short. Well, YOLO. No, never mind. I don't know why that was not displaying the numbers correctly, but we actually killed him with plenty of damage. So, who knows? Yeah, this guy. Ah, wind up. In case he misses or something, he's probably gonna kill me. Or not. This will not kill him, but it'll get him low, which is nice. And there we go. Bummer. Rest in pieces, Iron Starlet. It's nice knowing you. These are both, like, as fast as each other. I think Ultra Tonk should be fine, because I'm not... I don't think we're planning to use him for anything else. We just Ion Cannon this guy. We'll take a couple of hits, but it's nothing important. <laughs> and the Overkill Ion Cannon. Amazing. Okay. And then we got to fight his Battle Bird. He's recommending a Nexus Whelpling. Or Dream Whelpling. Or, yeah, no, I don't have any of those. So we'll just use something that's going to be generally useful. Uh, so it is a flying pet, which takes more damage from magic. Uh, I've got, Criminius actually does plenty of magic damage at Surge of Power. Yeah, that could work out pretty well. That could work out. What else do I have that does magic? I've got Arcane Eye. I think he needs more weather to do stuff. Gilnean Raven, he does, no, flying damage. Okay. What do I have that does magic? Not a whole lot, actually. Twilight Clutch Sister, do you do magic? Amplify magic. Mm. Not really. Yeah, magic damage is actually rather lacking in our toolkit here. We're going to have to get more of that. Um, what's flying good against? So definitely definitely don't use any beasts. All right. Oh, wait, are you a beast? No, you're a dragonkin. I'm going to bring out Criminius. I think he might work pretty well. What's the arcane eye do? It's a beam, keeps doing more damage. Magic damage, makes him take more damage. Magic damage, interrupts him if he goes first. Eh, okay. Unlikely to work. There's more damage if the weather's arcane winds. I don't know, arcane eye sounds pretty good. I don't know how to make it arcane winds though. Let's send out the arcane eye, see what he does. And we got the proto whelp. I think we should be fine. Yeah, let's give it a go. Let's see how this battle bird does. All right, so this is more damage if arcane winds. Oh, I yeah, this is kind of silly. I really should have arcane winds here. No idea how to do that. Maybe he did have an ability that triggers arcane winds. I'm not sure. Anyway, this guy is cyclone. Chance to damage my pet each round. Bummer. Let's hit him with the mana surge, I suppose. Continues for multiple rounds. Okay, it's fine. He's taking less damage though. Bam. Cool. Let me just keep fighting each other. Bam. Oh, it's hitting my backline pets. Oh, it damaged my team. I see. Bam. And he's got, like, bonus crit strike. That's rude. Okay, it's hitting with Psychic Blast. Okay, so he goes down. So Arcane Eye can solo him pretty well. But we do have to get through the parrots, too. Which is a bit of a bummer. Okay, we'll hit him with this. Reduces his damage and boosts my damage, which is nice. I'm going to hit him with a Psychic Blast. He's almost dead. Hit him with a Mana Surge. Magic Pets can't be dealt more than their... Okay, that's nice, actually. That's a good little bonus. This guy's going to come out. Arcane Eye's probably going to die next round, I assume. Yes, okay. Arcane Eye does go down. Still, he did pretty well there, I have to say. 
Uh, send out Criminius, why not? To just blast him with surge of power, massive damage. Obviously not that good against the boss, but against these common guys, literal one shot. Fantastic, okay. Down they go. Now we must confront the shadowy figure and prepare for the final, the final battle. Oh, you're the one the Torn was talking about. Gonna want our mechanical Pandaren Dragonling. Thunderbolt. And breath. And then we're going to want Terror or Terror Claw Hatchling. And two, but with dodge this time. An Alpha Strike. Okay. Man, this this shadowy figure is a lot more a lot more evil, eh? Trying to foil our plot again, ha, huh? as if someone so puny could stop us. Besides, if you ever hurt one hair of my sweet Torin head, Torin's head, you have a real problem to deal with. Me. No matter, I already have what I came for. Puts a vial of goo from the cauldron. You better hope we don't meet again. I don't have time for such silly catchphrases, so I'll just do a cool exit instead. Power leap. Oh my god. Amazing. Pity that one wasn't voice acted, but there you go. Okay, so we want a decoy. Eight round cooldown, but puts down a wooden decoy, protects from two attacks. And there we go, one is blocked. We're gonna use Thunderbolt. Does elemental damage. Zippity zap. He's gonna take more damage from Dragon King abilities. Awesome. So we're gonna do that with Breath. So I actually think that our, our Proto Whelp should be really good here as our backup, because he's gonna do more damage to Dragon King. And then we're just gonna spam this. And we're gonna just Thunderbolt whenever we can. And we'll decoy whenever we can, and that's pretty straightforward. Uh, his Ooze Touch is going to do less damage to me because it's a magic ability and we are mechanical. So quite useful being the mechanical Dragonling. We've got the Dragon Attack, but we are mechanical ourselves. So that does 198 damage. Oh, we even put asleep. That's a bummer. I guess we have to pass this turn. We can't put out the Decoy. Bummer. We'll do this, Thunderbolts. Which is our hardest hitting ability. Cool. Decoy. Ha <laughs> ha! We'll protect us. You can't get me, mister. Cookies leftovers. Whoa. Blocked. And there we go. It's down, but you get one more. These breaths off. We'll take two more to kill him. We will die, but we will resurrect. One time at least. One more hit and he goes down. Ugh. Put asleep. Oh no, and the dragonling goes down. That is a bummer. We'll send out our Terra Claw boy. Next, why not? We'll dodge first. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. Safety first. I don't think we need to, but there's no reason not to, I think. Then we'll uh Alpha Strike. Yeah, it's gonna take a couple of goes to kill him with the Alpha Strike. We'll get him now. Hopefully. One. Boom. Down he goes. Excellent. Excellent. You won. That is right. And then we just uh, leave the instance group now that we have completed the dungeon. It's a bit weird that it doesn't, you know, teleport you out. I don't know. Maybe there's stuff you can do when you're inside, like catch certain pets or something. Uh, all right. Someone took something with Cookie's Cauldron. Report this to Rhiannon immediately. Seems the Wailing Cavern was not a singular incident. Something big going on. We stepped into the middle of it. Nice. And so now we're going to have the Mana Poof uh, Link. You can teleport to Westfall whenever you want from Dalaran, which is cool, and we get to level up a pet for free. We can also go back in to get a thing if we do this again with the challenge mode. But we basically just did that challenge mode. So there you go, guys. That is how we did that challenge mode. Relatively straightforward, really. We had the Arctic Hare. Arcane Eye was just kind of a filler pet. Just any magic damage pet, I think, would do. Um, in fact, he kind of had some of the wrong, the wrong moves. Psychic Blast does more damage to Arcane Winds. I think we wanted to use and then more Focus Beams. I don't know. Drain Power is cool, though. Juice the target speed. Mana Surge. Interrupting Gaze. Yeah, not sure. That worked all right, though. Uh, our Emerald Proto Whelp was great as our backup pet. Uh, Terra Claw Hatching was useful for the final boss. Uh, Eternal Strider. Really good for that, too. Uh, Icky, the Iron Starlet. Uh, Lil Bling, uh, the Mechanical, Pandaren, 
Dragonling, the Pandaren Water Spirit, Terraclaw Hatchling, the Unborn Valkyr. And did we use the Zandalaris? I can't remember now, but you certainly can. And that is it. I'm going to probably level up the Nether Fairy Dragon to solo that other fight. That could be pretty useful because I don't... He's basically a dragon who's got magic abilities. That might be the thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. But anyway, guys, that was basically the challenge run of uh, Deadmines. Um, just uh, for the first time through, though. Awesome.